Warren Buffett is one of the wealthiest people alive. Warren Edward Buffett is an American billionaire, philanthropist and investor. He is Berkshire Hathaway's chairman and CEO. Warren Buffett is well known for his brilliant investment strategies. He has the ability to find booming money opportunities. He has a phenomenal skills for negotiating deals. Warren Buffett's net worth is worth over a hundred billion dollars. In today's video, we will talk about eight money habits that keep you broke and poor. Healthy money habits might have a significant impact on your future financial situation. If you overspend, you might not have enough money on hand if anything unexpected happens. You can better understand your existing financial resources and anticipated expenses by creating good money habits that will prevent you from being broke and poor. Welcome to Luxkin, the perfect place to learn about self-development, entrepreneur mindset and financial knowledge. No budget. Having a budget provides financial stability. A budget allows you to create an emergency fund, pay bills on time and save for expensive costs like a car or home by keeping track of expenses and sticking to a plan. Budgeting your expenses is a crucial part of a good money management. When you use your money without a budget, there is not much to stop you from living beyond your means. You can have a general idea of how much you can spend each month. However, losing control of your spending habits is easy without accurate numbers. Budgeting is essential if you want to take control of your spending, keep constant track of your daily spending behaviors and understand the implications of even apparently minor costs. Budgeting is essential because it helps you stay on track as you progress towards your financial targets. Goal settings and goal accomplishments are two very different things. It is easy to just set goals and set a time to reach them. To achieve your goals, stick to a plan and be laser focused. One of the key factors of your strategy should be budgeting. Do not make the big mistake of keeping up with the Joneses. Instead, it would be best if you concentrate on making your own decisions and living your own life. And for that reason, having a budget is crucial. You are always prepared for unexpected expenses when you do not spend over your means. Avoid or get rid of debts by using a budget. If you want to build wealth, you need to stop spending money on things you cannot afford. Making a budget keeps you organized. Your financial life will get more stressful without a budget as time goes on. You do not diversify. A recipe for disaster is when you put all your eggs in one basket. Warren Buffett has described diversification as a protection against ignorance. An effective risk management tactic is diversification. Ensure that you expose yourself to a variety of stocks, asset classes and geographic region and make sure that none of them goes bankrupt. By diversifying their holdings, investors can reduce their risk and losses. A portfolio that is diversified over several asset types, such as stocks, bonds, real estate, metal and other assets, would be considered a diversified investment. This is based on the notion that different asset classes do not correspond to the market similarly. Therefore, an investor's entire portfolio won't perform poorly if one or two assets perform badly. Diversification is valuable because it is one of the main strategies for lowering portfolio risks, compared to a portfolio that specializes in just one or two types of investments. A diversified portfolio is less prone to losses. Lack of good money habits You will find yourself in debt if you are not disciplined with your spending and do not have a budget. If you have a bad money habits, you will be in a lot of stress. One of the reasons Warren Buffett is successful is because of his astonished good money habits. As Warren Buffett said, opportunities come infrequently. When it rains gold, put out the bucket and not the thimble. He advises business people to invest in high quality companies that have a competitive advantage and invest the profits back into the company. Warren Buffett suggests working on good money habits while eliminating bad money habits. Following these good money habits from Warren Buffett will stop you from being broke and poor, and you will start a journey to becoming successful and wealthy. No emergency savings. 
Emergency savings protects you in the event of a sudden financial setback and can support keeping you from getting into debt. Additionally, it offers peace of mind if you lose your job, become unable to work due to illness or need to pay for a costly vehicle or house repair. Your unplanned expenses may be covered with the aid of emergency savings. If you're trying to pay off a debt, utilize your emergency money to deal with stressful circumstances and make it easier for you to fully commit to paying off your debt. If you have only one source of income, it is fundamental to have emergency savings that can help you to go through an unexpected illness or job loss. Life is unpredictable and if you do not have emergency savings, you can be broke if something unexpected happens. Some people spend all the money they earn and do not save some for an emergency situation. Others earn so little that they cannot afford to save some cash for an emergency. It would be best if you aim to save 3 to 6 months worth of living expenses. This way you know that you are covered if something unexpected occurs. I hope this video is giving you valuable information. Please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel so you can be updated when a new video is released. Not tracking your expenses. Being constantly aware of your financial situation is one of the main benefits of keeping track of your spending. If you do not know where your money is going, it could lead to financial difficulties. You may stay inside your budget by keeping track of your spending, not only overall but each category, such as housing, food, transportation and presents. You can make changes if necessary when you know where the money is going. These changes can help you save money and stop you from being poor and broke. Using these habits, you will be one step closer to reaching your financial goals. You need to know precisely where your money is going each month. There are ways that you can track some of your expenses automatically. Usually, banks offer this feature within mobile banking. You can also find many free tracking software programs. Another way to track your spending is using a spreadsheet. Keeping up with the Genesis The famous phrase, keeping up with the Genesis. It originates with the comic strip, Keeping up with the Genesis, created by Arthur R. Pop Moment in 1913. The strip describes a social climb of a family struggling to keep up with their neighbors, the Jonases. Keeping up with the Jonases means that you are competing with your friends and neighbors in terms of buying more than you can afford. If they buy a new car, you also will buy a new car. What you should do instead of spending money is save it. Try to save between 10 to 20% of your income. This money will be helpful in the future. Impulse Buying it is an impulse purchase if you make an unintentional buy. It is an impulse buy if you have not budgeted for it previously. An impulse buy can be just buying an energy drink in the checkout line that was not in your shopping list or as big as going to a TV shop just to browse and you walk out with a brand new TV. Another great example is if you are browsing on Amazon or any other online shop and you find something that you like and you buy it but you do not need it and did not have the intention to buy it in the first place. Warren Buffett said, If you buy things you don't need, soon you will have to sell things you need. An impulse buy usually feels good at the moment, but it can lead to significant financial side effects that you will not like in the future. Next time you feel tempted to make an impulse buy, remember Warren Buffett's wise words. Living beyond your means if you are spending more money than you can afford, it means you are living beyond your means. If you are spending within your budget, it means that you are living within your means. When you track your expenses, you can determine how much you can afford it. This method helps make you sure you live within your means. If you need exceed your budget on a regular basis, it is an alert that you are living beyond your means. Another sign that you are living beyond your means is when you live paycheck to paycheck. You are not financially healthy if you cannot set aside some money for monthly savings. You will be poor and broke and you will accumulate more debt than you can afford to pay off. If you are in any of these situations, don't beat yourself up. Try to learn from your mistakes. Try to see where you are overspending. Sometimes it can be on eating out or takeaways. Reduce the times you are doing it and cook more. You can save money by tracking your expenses 
and analyzing where you are overspending. You will have to cut out on the non-essential expenses, such as eating out, expensive clothing, and subscriptions that you barely use. Create a budget and stick to it. Avoid any temptation of impulse buying and stop keep it up with the Genesis. Do not buy things on credit, only buy something that you can afford it. Stop browsing online shops if you do not need to buy anything. If cutting expenses is not enough, try to increase your income. You can do it by working on a part-time job or getting a side hustle. Once you create your budget and your debts are stable, it is time to start saving money and build up your emergency savings. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and I will answer as soon as possible. Always have a positive mindset and remember to be grateful. I hope you find this video valuable and that you can have a wealthy and happier life. Like this video and subscribe to this channel for more personal growth and entrepreneur strategies. Leave a comment if you know more habits that keep you broke and poor. See you next time.